Ah, now my favorite time. I finally get to take the cylinder off. I get to do the few things that I wanted to do and wrap this dude up. Things that I know work and one thing that I'm not sure if it works, but if it does, it'll work great for all of us. So first and foremost, I'm gonna check the compression on this thing and see where it's at. Okay, 180, realistically, you know, 178, but right there. Um, that's great, because that's a little on the low side for what I would like, because I'm at 103 feet. I can pump that up to 190, 200 range. That'll pull out some bottom end power out of it. Good to know, I like those numbers. Now I'm gonna check the squish band clearance. Take the cylinder head off, lay the solder across the top, see what happens. I'd laid 60 thousandths uh, inch solder across the top, didn't even touch. I laid 92 thousandths solder across the top, which is 330 seconds solder if you wanna buy it in the hardware store. And that came out to here. So I'm excited about that because it looks like I can thin up the base gasket stack, tighten up that squish, raise that compression, lower the port time in just a little bit, go for that bottom end that we are after. Um, so let's look at what those parameters are. All right, here's my numbers. Compression, 178. Realistically, I'm at 103 feet above sea level, so that's good. Yep, the squish ended up being 80 thousandths, good. What I care about is what my base gasket stack was. So I took it apart. They've got two base gaskets put together. Base gasket stack stock is 24 thousandths, which is the base gasket in the KTM parts numbers that ends in six zero. What I'm gonna do is use the one that ends in two zero, the thinnest one, and that is eight thousandths thick. And by doing that, I'll take 15 thousandths out of my squish, which will definitely make it snappier on the bottom. We'll see what it does to the compression. I'll lower the port timing just a tad more on the bottom end of mid spunk. I don't think it's gonna hurt top at all, personally. Um, you know, what I have to keep in mind is, you know, there's basically a 3% loss of compression for every thousand feet that you go up, which means that if I go up to 3,000 feet, a lot of times when I start in different places where I ride, you know, right there, if you do the math, um, you know, realistically, I'm starting at about 168 pounds of compression. So, you know, if I get higher than that, let's say 5,000 feet, it's starting to get low then where the bike's gonna get sloppier and colder, uh, run a bit rougher on the bottom. By bumping the compression up now, sea level, that gives me a lot of playroom. Other things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the bottom of the piston so I don't hit the intake tangs on the crankshaft. I'm gonna open up my, my water jacket hole in the thing and I'm gonna put on that build exhaust manifold. I'm gonna end this video right here. You know what's going on. Keep this in mind though about the base gasket situation because your bike probably comes with this same stack. This is gonna be a great way to pump up some spunk right off of idle into mid. So we've got this narrowed down. Now let's go into the piston and the water jacket fix.